All right, thank you very much. We are following breaking news at this hour. Rochester fire crews on the scene of an early morning fire on Boardman Street, and that's where we find a Josh Navarro with the very latest on this. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, Leah. Fire crews have been here for about almost four hours now trying to put out this fire. They did that, but they're still trying to put out hot spots. And so you can take a look behind me. You can see fire crews are still trying to put out those hot spots from the roof. You can see smoke is still billowing into the air. Once we got here on scene around 445 or so, there was still a lot of smoke, still a lot of smoke right now. All of this started around two o'clock in the morning. Once fire fires arrived on scene, the fire has spread so quickly, causing four for a four alarm fire. We're also told five people had to be rescued via ladder to safety. Also, two dogs were rescued through that process. Fire crews say they were able to contain the fire just to this building and preventing the fire from spreading to other buildings and nearby homes. Here's what fire crews had to say. And it's proving to be a very difficult fire to fight because it got in the attic area and it's, it, we're having trouble getting to the fire right now. So as, we, as I speak right now, uh, we are putting thousands of gallons a minute onto the structure, onto the fire, trying to fight the fire. Now, it's been a very long morning for these firefighters. They have been putting out hot spots. They've been trying to get into the building over here on the side of the building, tearing out some of the structure here to, to make sure that there are no uh, fires that could flare up again. As of right now, there are no reports of any injuries. The streets from Oxford all the way to Goodman are closed right now, and the cause of the fire is still being investigated. For now, that is the latest from here in Rochester this morning. I'm Josh Navarro, News Aid. Unfortunate situation, but good to hear that everybody was rescued. There. Thank you so much, Josh. We will continue to update you on this online at rochesterfirst.com and always on air as well.